be sure you bring the power. <laughs> Hi! In this video, I will show you guys how to calculate this limit given the condition that p is a positive number. Of course, we should just first plug in x is equal to 0 plus into this x and x to see what happens, right? And when we do that, we see that we will have 0 plus, and because p is positive, so we have a 0 plus raised to a positive number for the power, and then we multiply by ln of x is 0 plus now, so 0 plus like this. And because x is going to 0 plus, and this is past the exponent, so this right here is still 0 times, and ln of 0 plus, you know, it's negative infinity. And once we have this right here, can we draw any conclusion? Unfortunately not. And can we also use Laplace's rule right here? Unfortunately not. So this is what we have to do. We are going to make sure that we have the right form, either 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, right? So to make that happen, let me just write down this. The limit as x goes to 0 plus. Let me you know, pick one of this you know, factor and bring it down down. So that I can change that into a either 0 over 0 situation or an infinity over infinity situation. Would you like to bring the ln x down down? I don't think so because we have to take the derivative in a minute, right? So let me keep the ln x on the top and then I will bring the x to the p's power down down and I will get 1 over x to the p's power like this. And if you, you know, do some algebra, you will see this is the same as that. Okay, now, once we have this right here, you can verify this, we get negative infinity over when x is approaching to 0 plus in the denominator right here, you, you get infinity. So this right here, we can actually use Laputal's rule. But I don't want to really look at this to differentiate, so let me write this down again as the limit as x approaching to 0 plus ln x on the top over this is the same as x to the negative piece power. And now we are ready. We are in business. Let's go ahead and differentiate the top and differentiate the bottom. And this right here is because we have the negative infinity over infinity, don't let the sign bother you, right? This is still in determinant form, and we can still use Laputal's rule. Anyway, this right here is the limit as x goes to 0 plus, and the derivative of ln x is just 1 over x, and the derivative of this, be sure you bring the power, <laughs> be sure you bring the power to the front, and then minus 1. So we have negative p times x to the negative p minus 1 power, right? Okay, hopefully right here we can do some simplification and you know, that would be nice. So right here, let's see, the limit as x goes to 0 plus. Yes, I know we have to write down this you know, a few times. You know, just, just, just do it, pretty much. Let's do some algebra right here. How would you do it? Well, notice this part, this negative p's power minus 1, I can bring that up and becomes positive p plus 1, right? So if you would like, you can keep this as how it is. 1 over x in the denominator, and this negative p is also in the denominator, so let's put that down. And then this right here, I will write it down as x to the positive p plus 1. All I did is bring the negative exponent right here up, and then it becomes, negative, it becomes positive exponent. And then from here, we have 1 over x, and then this is x to the p's power plus 1. I can use the blue pen to cancel this x and this 1. So in another word, this is just the limit as x goes to 0 plus. On the top, it's just x to the p's power over negative p on the bottom. And remember, the p is just a number, and we are assuming that p is greater than 0, so this is legitimate. And finally, you will see that when you plug in 0 plus into here over negative p on the top is 0, divided by a negative whatever, you get 0. So in the end, you get 0 for the answer. So this right here is actually a pretty useful limit right here. And if you are doing some kind of integrations, 
and in proper integral situations, you may have to you know, work this out on the side to show that, hey, zero times naked infinity, in this situation, it's zero. You cannot say zero times whatever is zero. You must support the word like this right here. And with that, we are done. Uh,